Hi there everybody, it's UK independent Stamping Up demonstrator Housie here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am playing with the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set. I love this, it's in the new mini catalogue and it comes with some awesome dies. Now I'm only going to be using the stamp set today, the die is going to feature in a different video, but today I just wanted to make a really quick I'm thinking of you card. So I'm going to be starting off with my memento and I'm grabbing the hummingbird and I'm stamping that quite clearly towards the top of the card on the corner. Now I'm going to be doing sort of a messy blend with this, which is going to help me get a quick card made just to pop in the post and let someone know that I'm thinking of them today. How cute is he? He doesn't even need colouring, to be fair. He's got so much shading and so much line work in him that he's just an adorable little hummingbird. So first of all, I'm going to be just colouring the outside of him because I want it to be more of a colour splash. Um, the fun thing about this is I do have a few um, tattoos. And a couple of years ago, I was looking at getting a colour splash tattoo in the shape of a hummingbird because there's just so much color involved in them and they're so beautiful so as soon as i saw him i was like he's perfect i want a color splash card and that's exactly what i'm doing today so i'm just using soft sea foam this is light soft sea foam and i'm just gone around the edge of him you can see it's not tidy it is just a splash of color in the background so he looks like he's flying off my card this is light wild wheat and I'm going down his tummy, along the edge of his wings, and I'm also gonna do a little bit in his tail feather, just so there's a little splash of color there as well. Now, the thing when you're doing these sorts of cards is you want different colors, not the same. So you don't want a light and dark and blend it in nicely. You wanna have colors that work well together, but are different color tones and shades. So next up, I'm going to be playing with light pumpkin pie just to get some orange transferred onto him. Now, the light pumpkin pie, I'm running over the top of his tummy, into his head and around where his beak is. And then I'm also going to be playing on certain parts of the tail and also a little bit up the back of that wingspan, just sort of shadowing where the wild wheat was. And then I wanted to bring some colour in, so Pool Party, obviously, my favourite colour out. And I'm going to be popping this in the middle of his wing, just here, a little bit down his tummy, a bit running down his back and into his tail feathers there, and then up in his main wing feathers. You can see how it's starting to pull together, even though they're all different colours. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the ivory blend, run it over the entirety of my hummingbird so that it gets those white bits, but also it brings all the colours in together under the same tone. And there you are, you have lots of different colours in my colour splash hummingbird. Next up, the sentiment. And I didn't want anything to really detract from my hummingbird because I just love him. I think he's gorgeous. And don't worry, on one of my cards, I'm going to stamp my own background with 10 million of these colour splash hummingbirds. I'm already looking forward to it. So I'm going to be stamping the You're In My Thoughts Today stamp, which is perfect for this card. This is exactly the sentiment I would have wanted for this one because I know who this is going to and I want them to know that I'm thinking of them today. So I'm going to be punching this out with our circle punch. So this is the two and three eighths of an inch punch and he fits or the punch fits very nicely underneath my hummingbird or he fits just nicely on top of my circle punch. I don't know which way to word that, but there we are. I'm going to be using a couple of dimensionals just to pop this off it so it looks like he's flying behind it. Not too many, just a couple to stick that underneath his tummy. And that's pretty much going to be my card finished. I did decide that I wanted to put some texture on it. So I'm going to play with my metallic enamel effects. So we've got these in quite a few colours now and I love them. They are so handy. Where we've got our normal sort of dots and our rhinestones and things like that in the catalogue, they're great, but they're already pre-coloured and pre-sized. Here, I can pick one of the colours that I want and I can squish that bottle and make them as big or as little as I like. I can make them flat. I can make them stand up. They're just great to pop on the card, so I enjoy those. 
I'm going to stick the card onto the card base. It's going to stick completely matte and flush. And that's when I'll add the enamel effects. So the one thing you need to know if you're going to use our enamel effects is they take their time to dry. And they really do take their time to dry. Don't put them on and then put something on top of it or think you can stand your card up straight away or try and put it on the card base. It does need probably about 20 minutes to dry correctly. So if you stand the card up, it's going to run. If you put something on top of it, it's going to smear. You want to make sure that you've got a steady hand and that then you leave the card sat down for about 20 minutes for these to dry properly. OK, now, if you don't have a steady hand and you do something like I've just done with the top dot and as you've let go, it's kind of fell. So it's spread a little bit wider. You can always use your take a pick tool to just run it along where the dot is just along the side and take that little excess off so that it then fits with the others. So you don't have to worry if you do make a little bit of a mess, you can sort that out. But there you are. My finished card. What do you think? The Thoughtful Expressions Hummingbird with just a pop of colour. I love it. Let me know what you think below in the comments. And if you do enjoy the video, please do like it or give me a thumbs up. It just really helps get me on the board of other people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for any more crafty inspiration. And everything I've used today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.